see it as the Russian American conflict. Masala being Russia, Judah being the United States. Anybody disagree with that? Want to debate that at all? Or? Yeah, so why, why does Jesus come in all that? Why, why would we have in 1959? Why do we need to hear the, the story of Jesus now? Brought to the big screen. What's that? Bring back faith to the people. I mean, it's fear, fear time, right? I mean, again, you, we don't get that race to the moon, but Sputnik went up, and that really caused a huge, huge fear in the people in the United States. So they um, fear the race is on, like that, not over. Why is everyone just going to that arena? Because they still have engineering and coding. They're all in the Bill Gates. So, like, why? Is there no world? You have discrimination in the other parties. Yeah, then if you favor one side, they're always going to win. kind of weird though that if Rome's in charge of everything and all that that they wouldn't have the extra edge and there's still no rules. They kind of did. They yeah, Masala did, did, right? Masala but had the big chair. At the same time, I mean, it was what not the chair. It just chose yeah. not to. Yeah. In all great sporting events, there's not supposed to be, it's supposed to be like there. Too, that when they got done, and then um, Judah was, what did they, what did they kind of crown him, or they called him the what? Who was it? What, what, what was the phrase they used? That he was the what? He was the God. Yeah, the God or can't. Yeah, kind of like yeah, like you're the one true for now anyway. They said yeah. right for now because you won this race. Why don't they show a Jesus in space? When you think about the music and all of that, every time you see Jesus, I mean, all the conflict that's going on, all the, the volume, all the loud, the power, and all that, that calming music, again, it's kind of like the spirit. It's kind of like calming you down and like this is special, this is important. Is that trying to calm the fears of the people, like in 1959, too? I don't know. It's, it's pretty symbolic. What did the rain symbolize at the end of the film? Was it important? Washing away the So the wound was healed. The predictions I had the other day, right? Was kind of came true in a way. The healing of all the land. Did the uh, did uh, Judas Palace look a little? It was wet, right at the end. Did it look a little more light again compared to how it was before? Like before it was filmed more in darkness, but now it's a little bit more light and water standing, cleansing the air. 
Christian, you guys, um, you know, if, if you're a Christian, you know that story, right? You know that all these stories. It's just kind of interesting to see, I think, come to, to life along with the story between Masala and, and Ben Hur. Three men, basically, at the same, same time period, growing up together, different worlds, different lives. What are some major symbols in the movie? Water. I feel like the horses and chariot things. Like I noticed on John with the wind, how it's a white horse, and he's like letting it jumping him into the race. So like his horse has jumped that carriage. He saw the guys, and he had a chariot with black horses following him. The cross, right? Jesus himself. The Torah is the symbol of the door. Religion. Why was Masala still put Judah and his family in jail when he knew they were calling upon him? Uh, the court of security already took him. Show the power that the Lord had over Judah. And show that he was not going to be put as friend in that carriage because he was still put as a watch by the security. You kind of missed that early on. You kind of, but you really realize that that is the whole point, too. Is I can do that to my best friend, I'll do it to you. Is that a bad because he helped him get to his best friend? He didn't have a friend in mind or in that sense. And he didn't really blame the style at the end, did he? He blamed Rome. Even if that was just kind of better than him. He blamed the corruption of Rome. That destroyed the style. Do you think this film showed a good representation of Jesus as a kid? Anybody gone to a passion play before? Anybody gone to one? What's it, what's it like? Um, in uh, some places in South Dakota, I know many places do it, where they really do reenact and they go up the hill and they actually have somebody play, you know, the whole thing, play the whole thing out. So I can see it happening like that, you know, a good representation of Jesus as a kid. Um, why was the music so significant to the whole movie? It brought up can you imagine it not being in there yeah think about it if there was no music in that whole film and then too that like they said that the distinct decision to not have music during the cherry scene I think in today's filming they would have put music behind that but they chose not to do that I think it made more powerful, not to mention more realistic. Why is the race such a special thing for everyone? Say that again. Why is the race such a special thing for everyone? Like the Romans and the world. The what? The Romans and the world. Yeah. Well, the problem is, any man can only get it for once a week, once a month, so. Like symbolically in the film, think about the race. The race is still on, and it's a chariot race. It's like the race to space, you know, yeah. in a way. Think about that. Yeah, and, Russian. yeah between Russian and Russian. Which makes you wonder which side is supposed to represent which. Is, it, is Rome supposed to be Russia in this case, or because they lost the race there? Or it, it, is Rome supposed to be America? Like if you visualize victory, you will go toward victory. Yeah. Like even though Russians are characters, they're like they can still be. Yeah. 
still alive. Or more virtuous than the Romans or virtuous than the Russians. Um, what is this or what does Masala mean by the race is not over? Is the Russian race over today? Between the United States and Russia, do you feel like we're still in some kind of race? You guys like, do you guys feel that or not really? Do you ever do you think that way? Tanner, what do you think? Do you think the race is still on between the U.S. and Russia or not? Not really. What do you think? What do you think's happened to that? It's the race for the Middle East. Now it's the race for the Middle East. That's kind of true. And, yeah. But it has gone. It, it has gone away. It certainly isn't as bad as when Gorbachev took off his shoe and basically was beating it in front of the United Nations, saying, "We will crush you. We will crush you." I mean, that's just not true anymore. But there's still conflict. We're trying to work with Putin, but Putin wants to do his own thing in Syria. <laughs> But it's not as bad. But I think that some of the race is still on. Conflict has not gone away in all those years. So. And there's, there's like now both leaders have a brain instead of just kind of doing whatever. They're trying not to escalate it. But it's not just the Middle East, it's also North Korea too. True. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. Why did the Romans release Judah's mother and took JFK out by the sea? Because instead of both keeping them locked up. I don't think they want to do think they want the lepers in private prison where people are there. I don't know. Maybe they don't care. They were told to release them anyway, yeah. so yeah. you know, regardless of their state, they get them half dead and they were to toss them out. And they were going to burn everything. having faith is what will save you kind of thing. I kind of see it as like this conflict between Rome, and like, you know, like Russia and the United States, like we're saying, but but at the end it kept saying like, stop the blood, more blood does more blood, you know, like stop that cycle. So Jesus was that kind of figure in the middle to stop that constant conflict between the United States and Russia and that through faith and through peace you can work together. I, I don't know, is that, is that the healing element? Of course, if you aren't Christian, Even though it looks like this big conflict, it's really 